The private school voucher bill moved forward in the House committee today. The House is trying to pass their own version that would not only give 20,000 kids vouchers to go to a private school, but lots of benefits for teachers and benefits they've wanted for years. I'm Marissa Sulik, Watch Today's meeting and joins us now with the tense moments today. Yeah, and this is a big, if not the biggest piece of legislation so far this session that lawmakers are trying to pass. The House version is moving through committees fast. Today, Democrats had lots of questions, one by Representative John Ray Clemens about funding, which brought forth a heated debate. Are there any rules or rulemaking processes outlined in here that are going to replace the money that this bill will steal from my kids' public schools? It's a yes or no question, Mr. Chairman. Then the answer is inappropriate, sir. Not only did some not get their questions answered in the House Government Operations Committee today, others say they didn't even get to ask them. They say time was taken to acknowledge testimony from two speakers. You have been scorched online and in other venues for your testimony, and it's been questioned. This is not American Idol where we tell people our personal feelings about where we want to see them go in their Do lives. You have a but lawmakers on the committee did get some answers. Many have been asking why vouchers are included in a bill that has benefits for teachers and public schools. Why not keep them separate? Uh, why are vouchers in this bill? It's timing, and it's, it's a matter of when's a good time. And the Education Freedom Scholarship Act fit in perfectly with a lot of the education freedoms that we wanted to see in public education. The bill did pass and goes to the House Finance Subcommittee. The Senate has their own two versions of the bill making their way through committees as well. Lydia. Okay, Marissa Sulik, thank you.